Good morning. I am Udita Chaudhary and I am Manya Gupta and we are the interns from Faculty of Dental Sciences SDT University and today we are in conversation with our honorable dean Faculty of Dental Sciences Dr Omka Shetty sir associate dean head of department public health dentistry Dr Shorat Andan sir and head of department pedodontics and preventive dentistry Dr Anil Gupta sir So here we'll be discussing about the various aspects of dentistry as a lush profession and its future prospects. So let's begin with the most frequently asked question. And my question is, so what do you think is the reality of dentistry in India 2022? Actually, uh, dentistry is a blooming uh, profession wherein uh, since the population is increasing day by day, every person has about 32 teeth. That means dentists have a lot of work to do and with the increasing uh, amount of awareness that is spread through the media and other uh, such things dentistry uh, everybody comes to a dentist asking for certain treatments like aesthetics and other treatments other than the basic treatments that is normally done by a dentist so i feel that dentistry is blooming and it's just a matter of time before every one of us have a lot of work to do moving on to the next question so what do you think are the best career opportunities after pursuing bds see uh, per se if we look at the profession of dentistry uh, we are fortunately in the centenary year of dentistry in our country and uh, we are still pondering for answers that what are the future perspective or what are the scopes and in itself the bachelor's degree it's a specialized branch in itself and more than the bachelor's uh, degree we can we have nine different specialties wherein our graduates can look forward to uh, plus in today's world we are also looking at some super specialized branches like aesthetic dentistry like sir also mentioned implantology forensic odontology and i must also inform you that now the age has come where we are looking at behavioral sciences and ethics also some uh, futuristic perspective for our dentistry program so definitely there is a huge scope there is a wide horizon in the near future and i'm sure the next centenary has a great beginning thank you sir so my next question revolves around research so sir what do you think is it more beneficial doing research during your post graduation or are there equal opportunities during undergraduate level 2 udita undergraduate research is very important undergraduate research is nothing but uh, involves the inquiry based learning it involves practicing the discipline just knowing uh, just not uh, saying ki you just do this it is based on the inquiry of the student it will helps in intellectual independence of the individual and research and teaching go together in any system of higher education thank you so so further i would like to ask what are the different activities apart from academics uh, which are required for the holistic growth of a dental student actually um, if we see when we uh, talk about a holistic or all round development of a student it is uh, all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so something like that uh, what we uh, feel that you should also have extra curricular activities which also help you in concentration concentration as well as uh, all round development physically then you have other things like you know uh, uh, voice modulation command over your speech command over your language which also you need to learn because when you are interacting with a patient you should know how to communicate which is also very important so uh, i feel that instead of just the syllabus being concentrated on being just a dentist you need the other things which are going to be an adjunct for your all round development thank you sir so i'd like to ask what do you think is the scope of a bds degree outside india i mean is it more beneficial going abroad after your masters before your masters and above all is it worth the hustle okay that's very important question because uh, over the years we have realized i'm sure uh, sir here would also agree with me that uh, many of our friends have probably looked uh, abroad options and they have taken that road 
uh, if you ask me just for your question sake probably going after bachelors is the better option because once you have done your masters in our country uh, any country abroad you might look to us or australia uh, or even for that matter new zealand or the european countries they would not directly uh, consider your education here in our country to their levels so they have their different uh, mechanisms to equate your uh, transcripts to their level of education but i would want to add another thing that uh, with the curriculum reforms which we are seeing in our country especially with the national education policy and further additions to those policies which are coming in our country uh, it will be very important for us to realize that now we are opening doors for foreign universities at our campuses as well so uh, now the race has begun probably we need to look into those collaborations and engagements with foreign university and that would be a rightful uh, platform for our students because we would make their bases here at our institutions and with the collaboration or the twinning programs with foreign universities they can definitely learn those skills if they are definitely wanting to learn uh, the skills which are practiced abroad so we will have all that in our country as well so that's a good future perspective which we are seeing in today's world Thank adding you, to his uh, answer i would say that with the, like he said the education policy undergoing a lot of change the curriculum the syllabus also of dentistry also undergoing some changes probably in the near future we might look at foreign universities accepting our degrees also nice. so maybe that is also something that we could look forward to thank you sir so last but not the least i would like to ask one question which almost every dental graduate thinks of asking their seniors and experts so the question is is dentistry a financially stable profession uh, when it comes to the amount of resources and in, an individual invests in the graduation or post graduation was it manya india has the largest population of the world everybody knows government cannot provide jobs to anyone so we have to develop our own skills to have entrepreneurship and starts our own clinic if you have good qualities in yourself nobody can stop you we have a vast scope and uh, new avenues are coming up if you have good uh, qualities as interpersonal relationships and also the patient rapport is good nobody can stop so i can assure everybody there is a uh, more scope in the field of dentistry because a dentist is himself a surgeon he uh, is a uh, radiography he uh, does himself and many other things so it is a complete package you don't need uh, to uh, take help from any other so in my point of view there is uh, scope at uh, of any field and dentistry is not an exception thank you so there's no dearth of work as such because there's a lot of uh, amount of work in uh, dentistry as well as financially if you ask me yes uh, you are quite stable it does take maybe one or two years for you which you can say as a probation period but then i'm sure most of us have had financial problem uh, stability totally thank you so much sir so with this we have come to an end of this session of career bites so here we would like to thank our experts for enlightening us and throwing light on various aspects of our field thank you so much sir thank you sir